Kind of Spirits, Laughing with Ghost. Today we're going to do a reading on a cold case for Tara Calico. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, just for a bit of insight for those of you who are not familiar with it, um, with the case, Tara was or Tara was 19, I believe, 19 years old, and on September 20th, 1988, she went uh, missing. She was riding her mother's bicycle on a route that she always took. Um, you know, reports are that there was a white pickup truck, an old pickup truck that was following her. Um, you know, so that's believed to be a suspect. Anyways, they have never found her body that I know of as of today. And so we're going to uh, dive in and see what comes out in this reading. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're familiar with this case, comment down below and let me know um, as we go through this reading. So let's find out what we need to know in this case. Well, we've got a lot of upside down cards here. Interesting. We have the Ten of Pentacles that comes out upside down. Interesting because this is like, you know, if it was right side up, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles, it would be like retirement inheritance, you know, like you're coming into money, but uh, clearly you're not. You have the Ace of Pentacles upside down. What's with all the pentacles upside down? Interesting. The ace of pentacles, uh, you're not getting any type of promotion. You're not doing anything. <laughs> huh. So what I'm gathering from these two is it's not, it wasn't because of money, for one, her disappearance. It wasn't due to money. <clears throat> and the eight of cups, let me show you this card. I'll show it to you right side up, but look at the Eight of Cups. This card is, I don't know, it kind of gives me the creeps a little bit. And with the Eight of Cups coming out, uh, this is like, if it were right side up, it'd be like you're retreating, but you're not. So I don't believe that she was actually taken out of like state or, I believe that it's local, like where her... Um, body is or where she is I believe that is she stayed local she didn't leave I see that there were reports that she did leave um or possibly like there was a Polaroid or something like that that um came out of Florida um believed to be her I personally don't think it was her I mean obviously I can't prove that but um this the eight of cups upside down is confirming that she was not she was not moved to another state, if that makes sense. And it wasn't for money. So we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. What is with all these pentacles? So here's the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so I believe that the person that knows, or that could be her, um, yeah. this card is interesting to me. I have so many things that are, like, going through my mind right now. So, normally when this is upright, I'm like, look, they're climbing the ladder. They have ideas and things like that. But it's upside down. So, this is going to be a greedy person. Um, and like I said, they didn't need money. The people that were involved in this, they didn't need money because they're fine. They, they already had, like, this was not done because of the money. I think that the people involved, they had resources. They, they had the finances um, in order to cover this up is what I feel. Um, which is interesting because there is speculation. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm coughing. But there's speculation that there was um, a person. I have notes here. What was the person's name? Lawrence Romero Jr. Okay, so he apparently was kind of like a troublemaker. Um, and his father was a sheriff, Lawrence Ramiro Sr., okay? He's an old sheriff. Um, it's alleged that Junior, I'm going to call him Junior, he was, like, into the whole drug thing. He was a drug uh, peddler. So, 
with these cards coming out, it would be interesting to me because it's not like a financial gain for him, but he has resources to get him out of trouble, if that makes sense. So for me, that's a clarifier that it could potentially be him. I should probably say this in my video that this reading is for uh, entertainment purposes only. And that's that. You can't hold me liable for nothing and all that good jazz that they say. But back to it. That's what the Queen of Pentacles comes out to tell me. It He could very well be involved. Um, when I first was watching the video about it, um, kind of learning a little bit about the case that some of you all had requested for me to do a video on this cold case. When I first was listening to it and watching it, I thought, okay, this is definitely almost like, I don't want to say an inside job, but like somebody knows somebody that knows somebody, excuse me, in law enforcement and something like that to cover it up, if that makes sense to where they could get away with it. So I find it interesting that these pentacle cards, they do come out. And for me, that is clarification verification um to that um so we also have the three of swords that comes out and this card is very interesting to me um this is always being like stabbed in the back right like you can see the skeletons he's getting stabbed in the back he's holding the sword right here the one that is getting stabbed in the back so for me i am just going to take this as confirmation that that is exactly what happened okay that um i do feel that she has passed on um and she was killed and i do feel that it had something to do with some people that can cover it up if that makes sense you also have the five of wands um that comes upside down i'll show it to you guys upside right so you can kind of see that he is lighting a match right so with the fives being or the five of wands being uh upside down this is like, okay, the problem's solved, right? The problem is solved. Uh, the job is done, if you will. Like, I don't want to sound like um, I don't care about Tara. You know what I'm saying? But that's what comes out is the job was done, meaning she, you know, was killed. She was murdered. I do truly believe that. Um, it's quite sickening to me. So, what else do we need to know? Taro, what else do you want us to know? It's been a while since I've done true crime, so if you find this boring, I apologize. I'm a little bit uh, rusty, if you will. Taro, what do you need us to know? Which also, the Polaroids to me seemed a little odd. Did it seem odd to you guys? Um, let me know down in the comments below. I just found it a little odd. Almost like it was a copycat or almost like a hoax. I also saw that there was a psychic, I guess, that was believed to be involved. Or she called like the tip line saying that she had a dream and, you know, something had happened with that. And so they were thinking that that was a hoax. So... Let me know what you guys think about that. I don't think that, uh, come on. What else do we need to know? Interesting. We have the eight of wands as well. Look at this upside down. I'll show it to you right side up so you guys can see um, the image on it, which this image, of course, creeps me out. Well, this deck kind of creeps me out a little bit. This is why I use it for true crime. But with the Eight of Wands being upside down, this is, this is like, there's frustration, there's delays. So somewhere in the process, I think, interestingly enough, when the job was done, and when I say the job, the murder, I don't even know if you're allowed to say that on YouTube, hopefully I don't get demonetized for that, but they ran into some problems. So I don't know if they were interviewed or interrogated. I didn't get too much into detail on it, but there was some problems that they ran into. And I think that this is where it's going to be maybe she was hidden after and then she got moved. But again, I don't think that she got moved out of where she's from, like out of New Mexico. But they did run into some problems. So what were the issues? Let's see if we can get a clarifier. Yeah, that card just creeps me out. 
I just feel like with this moving, like if you look, see it looks like all the little skulls are like moving through, right? It's like taking charge. And with this, it's almost like I think that things possibly happened too quickly. Like they didn't think it through. They didn't plan it through. And they were running through issues um, with it. And I don't know. I just have a feeling that it has to do with law enforcement. I just get a strong feeling about that. Do any of you all? that are upside down. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. The High Priestess upside down again. Page of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. So the Page of Swords is a lot of, like, gossiping, right? It's a lot of lies. It's a lot of people being curious. But I think that Maybe when her story was getting out, I'm not sure if it like made major headlines or not. Um, because like I said, I just didn't get too too much into it. Um, there was a lot of like gossip going around of who they thought it could have been or who was involved, things like that. That's what the Page of Swords for me anyway is like in this deck in dealing with true crime or cold cases. That there was a lot of people talking. I think that people do knew. Uh, excuse me, do know what happened. But for whatever reason, it's not being spoken about. It was like a hush-hush thing, right? Like, um, it, it brings me right back to somebody knows somebody higher up in possibly in, um, you know, law enforcement or, or whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody knew something that... Uh, kept him out of trouble. Like, almost like a cover-up for me, if that makes sense. That's pretty much how I feel about it. It's, uh, like, if you see, if you actually look at this, see, he's got, like, a document here, right? That would be Philly. He's got a document here that he's signing, so it's almost like a hush-hush a type of thing, right? We also have the High Priestess that comes out, okay? This is, like, the, what was going on, I think... For, for me, in, in this case, I think that there was probably a lot of evidence that was missing or possibly they didn't do their job looking for as much evidence as they could. Like, where's her bicycle? Where, you know, they, I think that they found her Walkman, but it's like, you know, what, did you go any further to pursue this investigation, right? I think that it was just kind of like a done thing. Like, they overlooked a lot of things, um, where she was. I believe that there was, like, a campground. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that there was, like, a campground or something that was near her or where the tracks were, the tire tracks. Um, and it seems like they missed that whole area or didn't do what they should have done in the investigation. So a lot of things were missed on that. I feel like this case was a little bit, um, mishandled. It's, it's interesting to me because the first thing that comes to my mind is it really reminds me of the Gabby Petito case. I'm sure that you all have heard about that. It was all over social media. Um, and that's why I didn't do a video on it. Um, just because it was too much for me. But I get those same vibes with this case. That it was similar to the Gabby Petito case. If that makes sense. Like, I don't think that it was her boyfriend um, that she was with. Because I think that she had a boyfriend. I think that it was a few people that were involved. Um, and somehow it was covered up. So I think that somebody knew somebody and I think that some things were missed and I just keep seeing like a campsite in yeah, like an area where it, it's not, not like a campsite, like where it's already predetermined, like you're going to camp there, but almost like a little bit off to the camp sites, if that makes sense. Like I see like a nice, you know, tree, like I want to say an oak tree, but I don't really know all my trees, but you know what I mean? Like. That's kind of how I feel about that. And I just think that a lot of things were missed on this. And the ball was dropped. And I really do feel that, again, I will say this again, I really do feel that it had to do with people that knew knew somebody. Um, we also have the Six of Cups that is upside down. We're getting a lot of upside down cups. So this whole case is just flipped and turned upside down is what I'm gathering from this. So right here you have the Six of Cups. Here's the card if you guys want to see it. But again, we got it upside down. The Six of Cups upside down. This is like living in the past, okay? 
hope returns. You know, you're, you're wanting to, um, you have these expectations or people have these expectations, but they're unrealistic. And I feel like that has a lot to do with you know, maybe they were told that, you know, this was being done and that was being done or their expectations of what they were wanting to have done during this case was unrealistic when in reality it was just being a cover up and they weren't doing certain things, um, you know, to be able to get justice for her family. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, I don't know, this whole case, it irritates the living crap out of me. Because I feel like it was so much overlooked. And again, the cards are coming out um, saying that. And I know that I say, um, in a lot of videos. And you guys will tell me to stop saying, um, and be confident. But it's just the way that I am and the way that I talk. So I can only imagine what her family is going through. I'm trying to be as respectful as I can in case, for whatever reason, they do see this video. I don't want to disrespect their family in any way, shape, or form. But I feel like the ball has been dropped. Absolutely. When it came to law enforcement, I'm going to stand by that. And again, this is allegedly, this is for entertainment purposes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get involved. None of that. Um, I do feel like the psychic though, that was involved. I don't know. I feel like it was kind of, to me personally, I felt like it was a little bit bullshit. Maybe for, uh, you know, her name to get out there or whatever the hell it may be. But we also have the Three of Pentacles that comes out. And with this Three of Pentacles, it's interesting to me. And I always tell everybody, this is like you're trying to water the fruits of your labor, right? But with this deck, for me, it's like you are... I always think of this as like a cover-up. Like you're covering it up. Like if you look at the bottom of this right here, you see you've got the skull, the skull, the skull. Like almost like the roots. So for me, this card is almost like covering it up, right? You worked with somebody else. This is a collaboration. You worked with somebody else literally to cover up what happened. All right. That is what that card is for me in this deck. And everybody always asks me what this deck is. Here's the name of it. I don't want to mispronounce it, but they always ask me what the name of the deck is. So with the three of pentacles coming out, definitely cover up. They had help doing it. There were multiple people involved in it. It wasn't just one person. It could be two or more. That helped do it. And with the Three of Pentacles, I always want to say that it's at least three people. Because, again, it is the three that comes out. It's definitely a cover-up. What else do we need to know? Is there anything else? Oh, Jesus. Interesting. We have the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. These cards, just take a look at them. So, with the Six of Wands coming out, the Six of Wands is like victory, right? Success. Like, we... We succeeded in this cover-up, right? Because it comes right after the cover-up. So they succeeded in the cover-up. You have the Two of Wands that comes out too. The Two of Wands is saying, you know, it's it's like waiting for results, right? Like making a plan. Um, and it's it's also travel, you know, like you're making travel plans. So I think, again, that this is going to go into maybe the body was moved um a couple of times only because it's came out twice i'm thinking it was possibly she was possibly moved twice to hide because they had to make the plans to do that to cover it up all right because they're like hey you know we succeeded now you know she needs to go to her final destination that's how i feel about that that she was potentially moved at least two times yeah look at this scumbag King of Cups comes out, okay? This is the leader. Somebody was in control of all this, and it was definitely, he was the shot caller. And just, just disgusting to me. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I keep coughing. <coughs> I wonder if she was choked. Or if the leader who is... Does anybody know um, this Lawrence Jr. or anybody that was a suspect? Does anybody know, maybe you guys do, if um, they're still alive? I'm not really sure uh, if they are or not. But if they are, I want to know if they, like, had something to do with, like, breathing issues or coughing a lot. Because it's... I don't know why the hell I keep coughing. It's really weird. And it keeps happening whenever... I bring up, like, the, you know, the person of this, so. 
uh, <coughs> God, I don't know, I have like a lot of phlegm, it's really weird. Anyways, is there anything else that we need to know? I definitely think it is a cover-up. It did have to do with the authorities. I know that I keep repeating myself, but I just feel like it's very important to get it out. Wow, we have the King of Pentacles upside down. Let me show you this. See how he's like holding his chest, right? This is like upside down with the King of Pentacles. This is a jealous person. They didn't follow through with something. I wonder if I wonder if the uh, killer is already dead. Interesting. Or somebody didn't follow through. Huh. Somebody didn't follow through with the the plan of it. Interesting. You got the Nine of Swords. Somebody, like, abandoned the assignments. Whoever was involved as well, they, they like, abandoned it. Like, I, they, I'm pretty sure they were just kind of, like, peace out. Like, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Or they had a lot of anxiety about the situation. Um, very much depression. Anxiety, which, of course, would... If you do have anxiety, you could have, you know, panic attacks or whatever. That could go for why I was coughing. You know, almost like choking, like it was eating them up. Interesting. Uh, and then the four of swords. Wow. Nail in the coffin. Look at this. Huh. <clears throat> they were like, okay, like we got away with it. No wonder it's a effing cold case. They're resting. I wonder. That's why I keep. I wonder if they're. If they pass on. Can somebody let me know in the comments? The people that, you know, I'm sure you guys have done a lot more digging. Can somebody let me know in the comments if, in fact, the uh, suspects or any of the suspects, if they um, have passed on? Because it's, it's interesting to me. Because they literally took it to the grave. Interesting. Let me find uh, another deck here. Where is my... Where's my angel deck? Let me see. Actually, I feel like using talking to heaven. Let's do our talking to heaven deck. You guys will ask me. I wonder, uh, I hope this reading is all right for you guys. It seems like it's a little all over the place, but I don't know. There's just so many things in this. It's like weird. Let me just sage these real quick. All right, Tara, what else do you need us to know? do you need us to know if I had only known then what I know now I would have lived differently and also I'm standing right next to you so somebody watching this video um it's interesting that these come out because I feel like this is for the person I wonder if she has, like, a sister. Does anybody know if Tara has a sister? Because I feel like this is kind of how Tara's sister is feeling. But then Tara is, like, saying this to her. Does that make sense? Like, I'm standing right next to you. Like, I don't know if she asks for signs um, from Tara. If she has a sister, I don't know. But I feel like she has a sister. And this needs to be said. It needs to be told to her, so maybe that'll get out to her. Anyways, uh, I guess now I know why I needed that deck, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. I really do feel like there was at least three people involved um, on this, and I feel like her body has been moved several times, but I don't feel like it was ever moved out of state. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. So, let me know in the comments below. I feel like this was a little bit of a, like, deep, right in my soul, gut-wrenching reads. Um, I didn't really feel too upbeat about it because there's just more to it. Like, it's weird to me that a lot of these were upside down. We had a lot of wands, a lot of pentacles that were upside down. So, that um, was really, like, odd to me, which, let me see, pentacles... Yeah, so Pentacles is a, uh, 
what is pentacles? Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. All right. And then a wand is going to be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So, I don't know. There was a shit ton of, of pentacles. So, if that means anything to anybody, that's what those are. But let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any other... Um, um, true crime or, you know, cases or whatever that you guys would like me to do. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. If you want to subscribe to me, please do that as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.